Hello, this is XRP Talking Speculation, and I am from Manchester in the United Kingdom. My background, uh, for the last 10 years or so, I have worked in construction. I've done loads of different jobs, and my current job is as a site manager, and I've also got a degree in business. During um, the last few years, I've just thought to myself uh what what can i invest in got start to make a little bit of money now got a little bit of disposable m disposable income what is the best way for me to invest some money because where i live i know that the construction game it's got, probably going to go for a few for a few more years but there's no guarantee that further down the line that there's going to be as much work in construction at net as there is now. So I decided to start looking at investments and businesses. And it just started off with a quick, a quick Google search. And I'm looking into like loads of different things like uh, marketing and Amazon FBA. And then I'll look at uh, investments and stuff. And whilst I was having a look for investments, I saw Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin at the time, I'd already gotten to a pretty high price and I probably couldn't have afforded to buy a, a one outright. And I just then we felt that I had missed the boat with Bitcoin. I mean, it still might get to a really high price, but I just felt as if I'd still kind of missed the boat. And I just then started to have a look into other cryptocurrencies because I'm thinking, well, hang on, there is there is quite a few of them. So I then said to myself, well, is there another one that we can kind of jump on that's kind of going to be, you know, just as big or is there going to be one that's that's even bigger? So I'm having a look and I came across XRP. And the, the one thing I liked about XRP was that it was designed for the financial institutions and also for the banks. And, you know, it's, it's, it's almost I had my, my, my eureka moment because then I just said to myself, well, hang on a minute. What's the one institution that's never going to go out of business? It's the banks. And even if the banks kind of do go to the wall, then they're going to get bailed out by governments time and time again. We've seen it all the time over the years. So I then see the, the, the XRP price. It's like under a dollar. I'm like, no, this can't be right. All this like really great technology. And at that time they had a few partnerships. And then I realized that XRP was a distressed asset and, and still is. So the more and more I started to look into this, the more confident that I got that XRP is going to get to a really high price. And uh, so I started buying up XRP and this was in about uh, 2018, summer 2018. I've just been buying XRP. Whenever I get a little bit of spare money, just keep keep buying it and just, just seeing what I can get. And hopefully the price will go up to a really big price. But I'm super excited about the future with XRP. Now, uh, going back to last year, last uh, early last year, I uh, decided to start my YouTube channel. And it was just basically to kind of get the community together, report on the good work that Ripple are doing, partnerships, xrp news and just to kind of share my journey with other like-minded people and i just kind of said to myself right gonna buy myself a microphone gonna upgrade my upgrade my laptop got a few ideas for a couple of videos that i want to do and then i was gonna see see how it goes so i started putting out videos and as time went on i started to get more and more views and uh started up twitter as well because i know that the xrp community are very very vocal on twitter so just kept on doing that and started to meet more people people started sending me articles and news and stuff and so far the channel's going really well so just over five thousand subscribers now and uh i intend to kind of keep keep going in regards to where i think xrp is going uh i think that XRP can easily reach a hundred dollars 
I reckon it can it can get in excess of that. To be fair, with the price of XRP wanting to be the, the maximum price being ten thousand, then I think you know the a hundred dollars or so is a very uh, a, a very small estimate. I, I reckon. The good thing about XRP is that it's a good middleman. Uh, it's interoperable. So I just think that there is a good chance that XRP might be the next world reserve currency. It might, so it might sound crazy me saying that, but even if it isn't the next world reserve currency, it will be a very good middleman because the banks, for instance, they want they they won't trust other banks, so won't want to use the other bank system. Whereas if they've got a neutral person such as uh, Ripple, then with a really good bulletproof almost system, then of course they're going to want to jump on board. And as we've seen so far, that the banks are signing up uh, thick and fast. At the moment, I think that we're in a really good place uh, due to the current economic circumstances. A lot of businesses are failing, whereas Ripple, on the other hand, they're going, they're just going from strength to strength. We sign in deal after deal, bank after bank, financial institution after financial institution. We saw the other day that MoneyGram were doing really well. They were really struggling before they'd signed up with Ripple as a Ripple partner. And uh, Ripple have put money into MoneyGram. They've hit a certain target and they've put more money into them. And Ripple are slowly capturing these corrid ca capturing these corridors, Southeast Asia, Africa, South America, and they're going to to keep capturing these 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 corridors, and making them bigger and bigger, and then eventually, you know, the majority of the world's remittances are going to be sent cross border through Ripple, whether it be on demand liquidity, the ILP. Uh, pay ID, that sort of thing. As I said, where we are now, it's kind of, uh, we, we kind of at like a, a, a crossroads because we have almost everything in place, but we're just waiting for regulatory clarity from the SEC or uh, the OCC. What we need specifically is a classification of what XRP is or what um what what each cryptocurrency is and then once we get that then we'll i believe that we'll have a lot of businesses and financial institutions be like you know what okay we we know the technology works it's been classified so yeah we can jump on board and then when these uh new businesses jump on board the wider world people you know your average joe will fomo in and then after that we're going to start to see some real price action. But the thing is, it could take time. It could take time. It could be, it could be a couple of years, but I, for one, am willing to wait because I generally believe that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and XRP is a long-term investment. So my final message is that people should kind of just hold on one of the one of the worst things about having a YouTube channel is that whenever I do a video and I put out some news, then it's guaranteed I'll have someone in the comments say, "Oh, but but XRP still twenty cents. XRP's going down, or XRP went down by five percent yesterday." And yes, don't get me wrong, it is frustrating. I myself personally would like to wake up one day and see XRP at a really big price, and then I don't have to go into work anymore, and then I can book a flight to Bora Bora. But as I says, what we really need to do is just, just kind of just hold all, buy, hold on to it and, and just wait. As I says, this is a long-term investment. So we just need to hold all.